Hello everybody, Zero Fossil Fuel. Unfortunately, I haven't had a lot, of, a lot of time to work on my HHO projects lately because I've had the obligation of repairing automobiles and my wife's Toyota Camry is no exception. Her water pump blew out the other day and I mean by blowing out I mean it literally just uh, the, uh, the splined drive sprocket just literally wobbles around and leaked antifreeze out what looked like the engine casing but I want to show you, share with you a little tip that uh, might help you if you ever have to change a timing belt or a water pump as I did on a Toyota Camry. Now what you see in this picture here is a view of the harmonic balancer that is the main pulley that connects to the crankshaft output on the side of the engine of a four-cylinder Toyota Camry. Um, this view is rendered from the inside of the passenger side front fender well with the plastic guard removed so that you can see the harmonic balancer and the main bolt that holds it to the crankshaft. So the challenge is to hold this thing still while you um, put a wrench on that nut or on that bolt in the middle so that you can loosen it and not spin the crankshaft at the same time. That's the challenge. Toyota's solution is to buy what they call a SST, which stands for Specialty Service Tool. And this Specialty Service Tool from Toyota takes several weeks to deliver and costs approximately $250. And of course it comes with a set of tools, but it essentially accomplishes the same, uh, the same purpose as what you see in this frame. Now this is simply a piece of two inch inside diameter black threaded pipe into a galvanized two inch flange bolted to a one and one quarter inch by one eighth inch thick by approximately three foot long bar of steel. The components that you see in this frame cost me a total of twenty two dollars at Home Depot. What I have done is to cut is to first assemble it to the floor flange and then cut it to length, which is approximately uh, a little bit over one inch. I want to say one and one quarter inches from the front surface of the floor flange that you see in the in the frame. After cutting off the excess, then I took a um, a steel ruler a small steel ruler and with I marked with a sharpie on the edge of the uh, pipe and then took a hacksaw and cut those notches approximately three quarters of an inch deep those notches those three quarter inch deep notches are approximately uh, five eighths of an inch wide and they fit very nicely over the spokes of the harmonic balancer that you saw in the previous frame Here's a view of the back of the SST that I built and you can see the nuts on the bolts that hold the bar to the floor flange. Uh, if you'll notice on one side of the floor flange that uh, I had actually filed away a little bit of the material to um, expose the, the edge of the, of the inside diameter of the pipe all the way around but I found that not to be necessary because a three-quarter inch or 19 millimeter socket fits very nicely through that opening anyway so I actually did not need to remove any of that material. In this frame you can see how I've assembled the SST that I've created to hold the, the harmonic balancer uh, into the spokes of the harmonic balancer. It takes a little bit of uh, jimmying to get this underneath the fender well uh, into the spokes of the of the harmonic balancer and you need to make sure that you don't cut the black pipe too long because if the pipe is too long you'll never get that that tool inside there there's not a lot of room to, to play with inside there but 
here it is you see it assembled and you see the exposed end of the bolt that I can now put a socket onto. I actually ended up cutting the length of the steel bar to approximately 22 inches so that I could take it and um, thread it through the suspension linkage and the suspension linkage acted to hold the bar and prevent it from rotating around as I applied torque to the bolt that holds the harmonic balancer to the crankshaft. So here you see it just uh, threaded through the um, lower control arm and the tie rod end of the front suspension. Lastly, you can see in this frame, I've taken a jack stand and extended the socket with um, some half inch extensions out far enough where I can put my my breaker bar on onto the socket and by doing so I was able to actually put a great deal of for rotational force on the bolt by by bearing downward on the end of the breaker bar against the jack stand. What you don't see in this frame is on the end of the breaker bar is an additional 18 inches of pipe to extend the length of that breaker bar to approximately two feet long. And at two feet long I actually was lifting myself off the ground pushing against that against that breaker bar to get that bolt out. I want to guesstimate approximately 240 pound feet to break that bolt loose so you absolutely positively do need a tool to hold that harmonic balancer in place interesting to note that as I was um, attempting to loosen that bolt I was actually tightening the threads of the pipe into the floor flange uh, it rotated almost a quarter of a turn more from what I was able to assemble in the vise before, while putting this tool together but it uh, actually was perfect then because it, it was not tight enough so that when I went to retighten the harmonic balancer that it would not uh, it would not slip out so there it is if you ever have to change a timing belt on an automobile that has a a four spoke harmonic balancer like the like the Toyota's very simple uh, very simple to make took me approximately 2 hours to um, cut the pipe and to cut the notches out with a hacksaw and break them out with a, a pair of uh, vice grips and uh, by so doing I was able to complete the task without spending a great deal of money. That's it for now Zero Fossil Fuel hopefully I'll have time to get back to work and I uh, hope you are all having a wonderful new year.